All right, if you've been following along, we are now about to we're gonna we're gonna make these drinks. We talked about it. We talked about the morning routine, but now we're gonna we're gonna actually show you what this looks like because it could be really simple. It looks like it could be more complicated than it is, but this is very easy for you to do. So we juiced a half of a lemon. So mm -hmm. you can actually you can do a whole lemon. You do half lemon if you don't like that bitter taste, or if it's just too much for you and you just feel like, ooh, I gotta go to the bathroom. This is like this is really too much. Then start with a half. So we've got our little fancy juicer here. So we're gonna pour in the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. All right, so antioxidants, citrus, dialed in. That's actually a pretty good amount, so we're gonna dilute that quite a bit. Now, the next thing that I like to do, and I'm not sure that I mentioned this on the video, is I love coconut water. I love it because of the potassium in it. So most of us are mineral deficient in potassium. Yes. We just don't get enough of it. So I love the taste of coconut water. Now, it's a little bit sweet all by itself. If I were to drink this, it's just like a little too much for me, mm -hmm. but I love it when it's mixed with lemon juice and water. So again, you can be more specific if you're somebody that's really dialed in on recipes and macros and everything else, but I usually do about a third of a cup of the coconut water. So I'll add that in. Okay, so we've got now, you know, we've got about a third of the cup, maybe mm -hmm. full. And then the rest we're gonna just top off with filtered water. Mmm. All right, so you can see it's quite a bit diluted right now. Mm -hmm. Our sea salt, where do we do with our sea salt? Do we right have that? Now. Okay, so you always wanna give this a little crack of sea salt, right? We've got the potassium, we've got the antioxidants from the citrus, and we've got the filtered water, top it off, and now we've got all the sodium. This is a great place to start. This, to me, really covers a lot of bases, but, if you want to take it up a notch because you're extra like me mm -hmm. and we're extra, we're looking to go extra. above and beyond right because we that's just how we are we want to be our best so we're going to take it up a notch chlorophyll mm. i love chlorophyll now this is something that is going to entirely change the, the way that this drink looks and a little bit in terms of it like it like cool too though yeah it'll be really cool so chlorophyll if you are thinking of maybe you know you heard this term back in like middle school science class. It is what makes plants or gives plants their color. Mm -hmm. And so it comes with all of these phytonutrients and these are just powerhouses for your cells. It's great for your immune system. It's good for your gut. It's good for so many different things, but it really helps support detoxification. Mm. So I love using a little bit of chlorophyll. Go slower on it, depending on what kind you get and the concentration of it. You always want to start a little bit smaller. Anything that's going to help move toxins out of the body, this is where you want to spend a little bit more awareness or time making sure that you're not mm -hmm. just like going, going overboard. <laughs> don't dump the half the bottle in there. I know, but this is really cool. Your kids oh, yeah. will actually love this. So you can throw a couple of drops in and then you'll yep. actually want to stir this and a frother would be a really cool thing to do too. Cause it would kind of, mm. you know, make it look awesome in this, <laughs> but we're just going to mix it up. So you can tell it's gonna to start to change the color. It's a little bit of like this aqua blue green color, but this is unbelievably hydrating to your body. And I would say do at least a full glass. So if you can get upwards of 20 ounces in the morning, I think that that's great. Um, this may be a little bit less than that, but honestly, before you have anything food wise, coffee, and I know that might be hard for you coffee drinkers that just get up and you go straight to your coffee machine, make this first. And if, if it helps set these things out the night before. I find that that's easier. That way I'm not going around looking for all these different mm -hmm. components. I know where they are, they're in the same place, and I can be drinking this while I'm prepping my coffee, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute because mm -hmm. you have tons of great ideas. So I don't know, shall we? I wish we, if we had two glasses, we could cheers, but oh, yeah. you know. I'm telling you, I am just like. It's actually really good. See, like these kind of things are what. It looks really cool too. It does excite me. Like I'm not detoxification lie. that tastes good, tastes well, and or that's not the wrong eat right English. Tastes good, but when you do this, can you do it um, like one whole glass in the morning? But could you actually do something like this in the afternoon as well if you wanted to, or you think it'd be too much? Yeah. So one variation of this that I have found to be really helpful to kind of do later in the day is what I call, or what is called, an adrenal cocktail. Mm. Now. The, the only main difference in that, and you'll see so many variations if you've heard of that before, they'll use a lot of times orange juice. Um, if you've got some blood sugar dysregulation, that might not be the best thing for you, but there is a company called Jigsaw that actually makes an adrenal cocktail powder, and it has a combination of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. And they actually use um, Redmond's Real Sea Salt in there, and I love it. It has a very light flavor, and if you add a little bit of coconut water to it as well, it kind of 
makes it a little less, kind of counteracts the saltiness of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I find that that's super helpful because usually towards the end of the day, I'm not drinking as much water or I'm just busy and I'm feeling tired. And those mm -hmm. adrenal cocktails can really help serve the mineral needs that your adrenal glands rely on to be able to support your body's stress response. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you can always incorporate later in the day. I would say like 3, 4 p.m. That's usually that time when most people start feeling run down. They start feeling like, oh, I'm hungry and I'm tired. And so having a little bit of that extra nourishment can really help your body kind of get over the hump so that you go into the evening much more balanced as opposed to running in on fumes. That is amazing. So um, with chlorophyll, like, okay, I've seen where individuals, they say that the chlorophyll is so good for like your digestive tract because it helps like actually heal the yeah. lining of the gut. So you're actually helping the gut. So with this, this is your concoction. This is you it. You said you could put it into a frother as well. Like there's gonna be like, so you can make it like, just spin it down and make it like just more blended. Is that? Yeah, it basically makes it more blended. I love those little handheld frothers. I use them for coffees. I use them for oh, drinks. Yes. I use them for the, the adrenal cocktails, like mixing anything just because if you're somebody that has a texture issue and you see, you know, like particles of things and that's going to bother you, then I'm, I'm not really that. I'll probably, I, I'm, more laid back about that stuff, but I do like to mix a lot of that in, so. Well, this is a Courtney's morning detox slash digestion is. and hydration. Hydration is key, guys, so give this a try. Send us some uh, comments on this, and maybe Courtney will bottle this and put her face on the bottle and sell this, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> you know what? It's a business idea right there. You never know. Here I mean, know. there's a lot of steps to make that happen, but you never know. I mean, hydration with Courtney. Don't Sat steal, me. nobody steal my ID. <laughs> this is, I don't think you can like, you know, patent that or copyright Trust it. Trust me, whatever. I'm not. <laughs> Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments how you liked it, how it's working out for you, and we'll see you on the next video.